Yo, what's up, rocket nerds? Welcome back to Rocketry, the channel that makes your brain orbit. So let's kill the question that floods the comments every single week. Why didn't SpaceX just use an ablative heat shield on Starship like Apollo did back in the day? I mean, it worked in 1969, right? So why bother with 18,000 black tiles that look like a Minecraft nightmare? Here's the truth. Ablative heat shields are one-time use. They literally burn away to survive re-entry. Dragon's Pika X shield loses around 4 to 600 pounds every flight. Now scale that up to Starship coming back from orbit, or even Mars. That's up to 26,000 pounds of heat shield gone every time. 13 tons of material turned into smoke. You'd spend months recoding it and tens of millions just to fly again. That's not reusable, that's disposable spaceflight. Elon knew that back in 2018. He said if Starship is going to fly hundreds of times, ablative is a dead end. So SpaceX built something completely different. 18,000 hexagonal silica tiles, each so light they can float. They're coated in glass and molybdenum disilicide, so they glow orange hot and radiate heat straight into space. They're pinned on, not glued, with gaps that let them flex at 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. And underneath? A backup layer, silicon impregnated felt that only kicks in if a tile pops off. Flight 4 in 2024 almost cooked a flap when Plasma found a small gap and everyone online screamed, see, tiles suck. But then came Flight 10 in 2025. SpaceX literally ripped tiles off on purpose and flew anyway. The ship came back looking roasted, but the structure held. The backup layer turned white and the steel underneath survived 3,000 degrees. That was the proof. The hybrid system actually works. Now, the only real challenge is speed. Right now, they spend a couple of days scanning 18,000 tiles after each landing. SpaceX is building TileBot, robotic arms that crawl the hole and swap damaged tiles in hours. Once that's ready, Starship can refuel and relaunch within a day. That's the dream. Fully reusable, fully rapid, no waiting months between flights. So, the next time someone asks why SpaceX skipped ablative, tell them this. You can't colonize Mars with the heat shield you have to throw away every time. Click the play button below to watch the full deep dive. We break down how this system evolved, what still keeps Elon awake at night, and why Starship's heat shield could change spaceflight forever. And hey, if you love this kind of deep dive content, subscribe to Rocketry on YouTube for weekly breakdowns, and follow Rocketry on Facebook to join thousands of rocket nerds decoding every launch in real time. Don't forget to like the video and drop your thoughts in the comments. Do you think Starship will pull off a 24-hour reflight by 2026? This is Rocketry, where we don't just watch the future, we reverse engineer it.